Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Let's ride a little bit and then I'll discuss a little something in a minute. So please forgive the knocking of my bottom bracket. It is annoying. I have items in my Amazon shopping cart ready to purchase to hopefully get it fixed. I may just have to wait to the end of this month though till I get paid. So more clicking. So today this video is about just following me along on my exercise journey that I do every day riding a bike walking and working out I'm just gonna do a little bit of clip here and there of each of each thing and maybe chit chat at points who knows so let's go let's do this One thing I have to kind of remind people on my Facebook is that I don't do these rides for adventures anymore. That's been long past, long time ago. <coughs> my rides are strictly for exercise. That's it. That's why I pretty much do the same route all the time. Now I post my stuff on Facebook my Strava map and all that and you know I do that for me to keep up with it you know multiple copies and stuff and I also do it to help inspire people something that uh, a lot of people might think of is uh, well you're doing the same route over and over you know well, you go to the same gym over and over, you get on the same treadmill over and over, the same spin bikes over and over. Again, you know, when you're doing this kind of stuff just for exercise, you know, your routes don't really matter. Uh, if you're doing it for the exploration, that's different, you know. And uh, I used to ride like that, but not in a long time, you know. Uh, I typically have about four routes that I that I normally would do but just sticking to this main one it just makes it kind of easy and it's my favorite one anyway I call it Old Faithful So again, guys, <clears throat> this video is just to kind of give you a glimpse as to what I do every day now. Uh, I didn't plan this to happen. It just happened. So, you know, I came out of winter pretty disappointed in myself. Only getting about one ride a week or maybe one ride every two weeks. I just didn't feel like riding all winter. Like October, November, December, January, February. And uh, March, I started, I started kind of picking back up March of 2021. 20, but what I told myself was, even if I get in two rides a week, I'll be happy. Well, something happened. And I've had a switch in my brain click, which happens with people that are active. You know, you go through funks and then you... You get out of that funk and then you go through more funks and you know things happen it's normal 
but I think I found myself kind of a goal for this year and that's just to do better than I did last year and to actually make a change more so in my body and be happy with myself a little bit more that don't mean it's gonna last forever but to give myself a shot at uh, what I've been wanting for two decades or more and that's to better myself so I'm a little happier with how I feel and look I think you got to give yourself a goal sometimes in order to really make that change guys I'm gonna finish up my ride and then we're gonna jump right into walking probably right as I get home okay we'll see you there all right I'm home Last I checked in, I was about two miles from home. Let's do some real world. A lot of times I name my rides and my walks after songs. The Ghetto by Too Short. All right, so what we're doing here is I'm just showing you kind of kind of the process of getting done with my bike ride and uh, transitioning right into my walk. Now, forever I've been walking at night, but here lately I've been trying to get it done during the day uh, because mostly, ooh, it's dark in here. Because uh, mostly uh, the bugs come out at night at this time of year and it's it just gets kind of crazy with them. So, uh, anyway, let's sit this camera down and we'll keep it going just for the sense of liveness. And Axel, you pee in the house anyway, so you go ahead and stay in here and pee. So we go from that to walk. Let's get a water. So again, a lot of time, uh, a lot uh, since I started walking, you know, it's always at night. I enjoy my night walks, but like I said, it just gets too uh, too buggy and stuff. So. Let me go get my cap. This is going to be kind of a long video, just trying to 
give you guys a sense of kind of what it takes. What it takes for someone like me anyway. So, all right, that was all real time, guys. Starting our walk. Anybody want a good, slightly used trampoline from the storms? Blew it all the way from behind the house, the very back of the house, all the way over there to that little bitty tree in the in that field over there. <laughs> Crazy. So. I consider myself a triathlete guys I know I know not in the not in the correct sense but you know I'm riding a bike walking and getting some weight training it takes a lot guys and for those of you that have never done it uh, you just don't know so it takes a minute So I'm going to continue to walk. I'll check in. So some of you out there might be thinking, Mike, E, son, why you worry about walking if you just went for a bike ride? Or if you want more exercise, more cardio, why don't you just go for another mile or two on the bike well that's not how it works riding a bicycle and walking are two different things swimming and riding bicycles are virtually no impact on the body something like walking and jogging is some to a lot of impact on the body uh, you need some impact on the body to keep your bones strong bone density tendons ligaments uh, just to to kind of keep your body used to having to support its own weight more uh, when you're someone like myself who rides a bike and you drive a school bus and you sit at your desk uh, and you lay down and go to bed and you rinse and repeat you don't get a whole lot of uh, you don't get a whole lot of that impact that you need on your body from walking or jogging or playing normal sports or what have you so if you can add some walking into your daily diet uh, you can only benefit from it and I can tell you that because well I have a hard time standing anyway because of my back and it goes down into my hip and my pelvis and my feet so over the years I've noticed that I've had more and more problems being able to stand for like any amount of time so making myself get out and walk you know it's not going to heal me but it's going to get my body used to at least holding its own weight up for a while and that's why you need low impact and high impact 
or medium impact. Wish I had one of those. Dang it. Much more fun than riding a bike or walking. I'm not even gonna lie. All right, guys, I'm on my way back to the house. I'll probably be doing my mile and a half walk today, and I'm gonna cut it off there. Now, I'm not gonna go straight into working out. I gotta go straight into making me something to eat, which is most likely gonna be a uh, grilled chicken salad. Uh, already got some salad made up that I had last night. And it's mm, mm, mm good. So I just kind of fry me up some chicken tenders and cut them up, throw them in there. <sighs> now, you know, my channel, I preach that I want people to get up, get out, get around, and do it to it, right? Well, that doesn't always necessarily mean what you're seeing in this video. And you know that it could be anything in the world, playing video games coloring photography playing darts reading a book cleaning your house brushing your hair whatever it is that can get you up and give you a little inspiration for the day and uh especially those of us that suffer from depression or anxiety or anything else in life like that where the smallest thing in the day can be the biggest thing to overcome so try your best to do something throughout your day you take it step by step and before you know it you'll surprise yourself Done with the walk, guys. Average speed 3.5, distance 1.8, Let's name this one. Time after time, as I said, I've gotten to where I name my walks and my rides after songs. Why? I don't know. Why not? Gross. All right, guys, I'm going in here, gonna make me some supper, and uh, I probably won't work out until somewhere around probably six or seven so i give myself a little bit of a breather uh right now it is 8 58 i got home from my bus route at like 3 10 3 15 i've already went on a bike ride about 11 and a half miles something like that and a walk so yeah i'm ready to chill for a minute make me something to eat and uh and we'll get our workout on and hope you enjoy the video guys we'll see you in the workout oh all right guys well here we are we're in the last portion of the video it is 6 41 just turned 6 41 p.m friday may 14th as I told you in the uh, other clips of the video, uh, I was gonna 
get done with my bike ride and my walk and then I had to make supper and I had to eat and uh you know and then i'll get my workout in like i said typically my workouts come between like six and seven or six thirty seven i mean i've done them later so uh so here we are it's almost seven o'clock we're doing shoulders today guys and i'm going to be doing sitting dumbbell presses so we're going to start off with some 30s we're going to work our way up to some 80s and uh I hope to inspire you to do something to better yourself in some way, shape, or form, and to stop wasting time worrying about things in life that you'll never change. So let's worry about the things that we can change, and that starts with us, all right? So let's start. I'm always a little tired I'm always a little sore I'm always whew, you know but it, it it eventually kicks in you know all right let's get some shoulder presses Now I'm not going to bore you with the rest of my sets. I'll film one if I get to the 80s just because those are a little bit more impressive. Okay. <sighs> Beautiful day out there today. So we'll see you in the next clip, guys. All right, let's get them big boys, the 80s. Gonna do one more set of the 80s. I gotta take the hat off for that. Let the head expand. Put things in into perspective. There's guys out there that can shoulder press 200 pound dumbbells. These are 80 pound dumbbells. But guess what? I'm happy I can do these. So let's do them. Two sets of eight guys now I'm gonna go back down to 50s 40s and 30s
All right, time for some easy bar, cambered bar, shoulder presses. I'm only doing, starting out with 70s, with 70 pounds right now, not including the bar. Now, having the bar how I have and my weights that I have makes it kind of difficult. I don't have 10s and 5s and all that. I have a couple of 25s. I have 435s and 445s. So, there's a lot of plate switching around and taking off and all this and that if I want to do certain numbers. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'll go up to, I'm going to go up to 120, which is a decent amount. It's okay. So, yeah. Just keep pushing, guys. If this old broken down man can, you can. There's no reason for you not to. Keep going. Now, guys, sometimes you got to push yourself. Uh, I went ahead and just did two kind of easy sets of 70 pound, uh, 12 reps each. And I went ahead and jumped up to 120 pounds. I've already done one set of 10. I didn't film it, but I'll film my second set. That way you can see me really struggle. <laughs> but uh, getting that from the ground up is not super easy. Especially when you're doctoring and babying, you know, a couple shoulders here and a bad back and all that so you just got to take your time and make sure you're set and ready so let's struggle out some 10 reps if we can all right Twenty-five, thirty-five, and the bar. Not bad for a guy who only dreamt of doing this, you know, two, three months ago, and where I'm at right now. How amazing! Uh, it's hard to even put into words. Or should I say it's, it's just kind of hard to even imagine. I don't know. You know, uh, I wasn't sure if I'd ever get to work out again, guys. Ever. Then out of nowhere, this shoulder over here totally relaxes on me. It's not killing me. Now, I, I expect to wake up one day. And it hurting again. That's just the way things go. But boy, I sure hope not. I sure hope not. So guys, I'm pretty much just going to do some lightweight uh, side lateral raises. Dumbbells like this. Like that. And probably some 100-pound uh, dumbbell shrugs. And uh, call it a day. That's my little triathlete day for you bike ride walk workout well with a with something to eat in between the walk and the workout 
So guys, I hope in some way or another I've inspired you to better yourself, not necessarily just doing strength training or any sort of uh, you know exercise, but just throughout your day. Hope I've uh, given you some sort of inspiration to follow your passions and your dreams and uh, get out there and live life a little bit and quit worrying about stuff you can't change in the news, religion, politics, you know, the idiots down the street that won't stop speeding to the dog next door that won't stop barking. <laughs> you know, all these stupid small things that you're never going to change ever in 10 lifetimes, okay? Enjoy what little time you got here and enjoy yourself, okay? Like, share, subscribe, comment to my channel, Mikey Sun TV, if you would please, all right? Check out the playlist, that's where all my videos are. Some videos are in the regular video section. You can look there too. Check out my other channel, Old Mental Pickle. That's where I live stream video games only. The game I'm live streaming right now is Halo 2 Anniversary. And I'm getting close to being done with that, but you can go back and look at all the footage. I have other games in there as well that I've been playing. Go enjoy. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff on that as well. Hope you get my channels pushed out there. I've put a lot of time and effort into my channels. So uh, I, I hope to one day reap the benefits of uh, helping a lot of people you know, to just find some positivity in the day. All right? Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And I'm going to finish my little workout and uh, try to catch my breath. Oh, oh my God, I can't breathe. See y'all later. Get up, get out, get mad, and do it, do it!